What's going on today, guys? I'm gonna have a new product we'll be testing today. It's Greer's Garage Best of Show Wax. If you ever heard a lot about Greer's Garage, they win a lot of the high-end stuff right here. I got this as a, a, a box set with my um, DA polisher from AutoGeek.net. I think it was about uh, $169, but this came with machine polish, came with different foam pads, it came with a DA polisher, it came with uh, machine polish, came Best Show Wax, it came with the glass, the, not glass cleaner, paint, paint clay, I mean it basically it was a whole thing, I had it on another video that I bought and it was like $169 or $189 package, so I, this is my first time I'll be able to try it out here, so far all I have done now is wash the car, this I'm going to tell you right now is going to be probably a two day video because I'm going to try something that they recommend that you do to really make it pop, what they say was when you apply this, let it sit for three hours on the car, so we're going to be testing their, their way to have to actually have the best show. And we're gonna let it sit for three hours, let it haze up, don't remove it, and you actually apply another coat of wax to it after three hours. Then you let it sit overnight, they say, and then the next day you go ahead and uh, put it, you go ahead and take it all the way off. So they said this is gonna make it amazing shine. This is direct from their website on their videos and everything. So I thought, I figured, you know what, the car show's not till tomorrow evening. Why not give it a shot? So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the first two coats on today, and then go ahead and take it off tomorrow and then I will show you the full results. So today, right now, I'll be, I've already washed the car, and now then I'll start, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clay bar the whole car, and then I'll go ahead and uh, do the machine polish on it, and then go ahead and come back with the first coat of wax. So this is gonna be a labor-intensive thing. It's gonna take me a couple good hours because I am a little meticulous when I do this kind of stuff. You don't wax your car every month. Some people do, and I just, I'm not that type because this car always sits in the garage anyway, so I wanna make sure it's done and it's gonna be done right. That's just the way I believe when it comes to anything I do, whether it's work or whatever. So here we go. Please stay tuned. It's gonna be a, probably a little bit of a long video, but I'll show you step by step of what I'm doing, all right? And I'll show you the results of how things are coming along. So I hope you enjoy. Stay tuned. All right, guys, here's gonna be the first step I'm actually gonna take into um, go ahead and waxing and polishing the car. And what I'm gonna be using is the Grills Garage paint cleaning clay and the speed shine is lubricant. So, pretty simple, easy cut. Just gonna go over the car. It shouldn't have that much on it. I will show you a short clip of what it actually does pick up and everything, but most of the time this car is literally sitting in the garage for a week, two weeks, three weeks on end. I have literally driven it one day a whole month. Now some of you guys got like, yeah, that's tragic. But a lot of times on the weekends we might be going to Disney World or something like that because we live, you know, 25 minutes away. And I'm not taking this to Disney World and getting it dinged up by every little random person in the world. You know what I mean? Because people are there are rental car central. They care less and they just kick their doors open at night and we'll play with that. So I don't sweat it and I just don't drive it. And so that's why it sits here. And then Monday through Friday I'm at UPS. And in the past I've actually had beer bottles thrown through the window at UPS. I've seen stereo stolen. I've seen wheels stolen. So I don't take the nice car up there because Everything's happening. It's kind of ghetto. Don't ask me why, but it's kind of ghetto. So here we go. We're gonna be claying it, and then I will hit it up with the polish, machine polish, and then I will start with my uh, first level of uh, wax. So stay tuned, and I'll show you the what it, the clay actually does if it picked up anything at all. All right, bye. All right, guys. Welcome back. This is gonna be another installment of the actual doing the Grills Garage Best of Show wax. Now I'm following exactly what they show in their instructional videos. It actually comes with the box and stuff, and I watched the video. I actually watched them online because people uploaded them. And what they tell you to do is do a crosshatch pattern. So with the DA polisher, they want you going back and forth, back and forth. And when you finish, it go back, and then start this way, going back and forth. And they say go over it about six times. So it's kind of time intensive. I'll tell you that right now. It's starting to be like the. But you know what, I'm going to have to go with what these people recommend because this is what they say. If you want the best quality results, it'll just blow the competition away. So they say you gotta let it go till it's almost all gone and then let it haze up and then you can apply another coat of wax in three hours. Now I've already done most of the car once already. So I'm just gonna finish it up. I'm not gonna be able to get all three times in like they recommended um, because I, the, the car show will be tonight and I just don't have the time for it. And it honestly isn't actually a show, it's just a hangout. So. Not too worried about it, but I'm crossing my fingers this is going to work out here. I really want to just go ahead and finish it up and get the wax off for today, and I can add another layer of wax before the, there's, they're having a big police car show in Oviedo, Florida, which is on the other side of Orlando, in two weeks, and I'll add more for that, and hopefully by then I'll have my wheels and stuff, because there's another group, big group of us going to that. So, I can see, I don't know if you can actually see the video, it looks kind of like hazy or whatever, because it actually is hazed up. I've already went back and forth with it, and you basically said you want it gone until it's almost gone, 
and then you just stop and let it set up on you for. So it's not like a normal wax because we're dealing with uh, different types of style. But here we go, we're crossing our fingers. So stay tuned. All right guys, here's gonna be the final results of the Griot's Garage Best of Show Wax. Let me zoom in real quick. The whole car is done. Uh, I did the interior and everything like that because we're about to roll out here in about an hour to go ahead and head to the car show tonight, which I will record and I'll also put my GoPro on. So get all that stuff done so please stay tuned for that so I'm gonna go in depth here on it I let it I, I I didn't get the three coats on I got about a coat and a half on and I realized I was running out of time and um, what I did was I just went ahead and finished it off let it set we went out to lunch came back about three hours later after just going around shopping and stuff and I went ahead and took it all off uh, it does stick a little bit trying to get it off you leave it that long for uh, and everybody knows that kind of stuff but they recommend on their site to use their um, Griot's Garage spray on wax for just to loosen it up a little bit and that's what I did on the whole car to make sure it was okay so I didn't uh, cause any streaks or anything and man this car really turned out pretty good I, I, I mean if you can look at my uh, you can see the palm trees obviously that's why I zoomed in there you can actually see all the leaves on the palm trees blowing right now look at that that's some good stuff right there some really good stuff let me show you the rest of the car real quick here can you see my old Honda Prelude? There. It's actually there over there. But you can actually see the reflection. That's how good this stuff is. So I'm, I, there might be a smudge here or there that I might have missed. I mean, it is starting to get a little dark here, and I apologize for that. But I really wanted to get this video up so you could actually see the results. Because once I take it on the highway and stuff to get there, it's going to be a little dirty. Look at that. Even in the panels. This is some good stuff. Really impressed. I, this is my first time, honestly, ever using a DA polisher. I always did everything by hand. I was one of those old school guys. Did everything by hand. And I figured at the same time, why waste the money when I can do it by hand? So this is all my first attempt at actually using a DA polisher. The back deck, deck lid right there. I'm, I'm really impressed by this stuff, guys. I really am. Look, you can actually see me just walking around in it. I really hope this is coming out good. I did spend more time to make sure I showed you step by step of what I was doing. So I hope it comes out in the end here. You see all this really nicely? Normally I would do a water beating test, but it's really windy outside right now if you can hear. And as soon as I spray the whole damn car is gonna be full of uh, water spots and you know the windshield and stuff like that. And I just don't really wanna deal with that right now today because we're about to go out to the car meet. There you go. So please, tell me what you think about this. If you're impressed with it, if you've ever tried this before, that's totally fine. Give me your thoughts on it. Um, I like it. It's not, it's not bad by any means. This is some great stuff right here. How I feel about it against, say, like McGuire's Gold Class, which is a Carnuba Wax, which I absolutely love. Uh, I think they're about neck and neck all day long. Now maybe if I did that triple uh, version, go in three times over and let the third one sit overnight, maybe it would have been a little different, but for now, here you go. Well, I do hope uh, you're impressed, as I am, here. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and let me know your thoughts on the stuff. If you have any questions, I'll do the best I can. Remember, I'm not a professional. I just do this for fun as a hobby because I've had so many cars over my uh, short lifetime that I like to try out so many different products. So once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for staying tuned for all that long. I know it's times to get boring a lot of times on YouTube, so there you go. Thank you again, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.